your boy Bobby Beast here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Ghost would have saved Zeke. That is correct. I think Ghost would have saved him. What I mean by that is basically this: um, if Ghost was still around and Ghost was in Power Book Two, I think that he would have definitely um, saved Zeke. And what I mean by that is basically this: if Ghost was Governor, um, Lieutenant Governor, he would have saved Tariq. Tariq would not have gone to prison. He would have made sure that Tariq was okay. Tariq would have still gone to school, and I think that he would have um, ended up. You know, still ended up in Steinsfield, I believe it is. Um, Tudor and Zeke, because of his situation, they would say this would make the school not want to accept him because at that time he would have been looked at for Ray Ray. Um, and basically, Ghost would have made it where Tariq still got there, but I'm pretty sure uh, Simon would have said, okay, well, he got a Tudor Zeke. Zeke is a big ball player. You know, you know, let help him do that. And and I think that Tariq would have still ended up in school and still be tutoring Zeke, even if Ghost was still around. Basically, when it comes down to it, Tasha would have never have went to prison because Ghost wasn't gonna let that happen. He was pretty much telling her that he would let her go to prison if she caught if she crossed him. Tommy would have possibly still been in New York. Ghost would have made sure all that stuff went away with Tommy. And Blanca would have still been trying to come after your boy, but she couldn't touch him. I think that people would still have been coming after him, even if he was Lieutenant Governor. But Ghost would go to make sure he was untouched. Now, Tariq would probably still end up meeting the Tejadas and everything. So I think everything would have still have happened in Book 2 Ghost, but differently. Because with Ghost dealing with being the, the, the governor and being with Ramona and still handling Tasha and Tariq and Yasmin and everything of that nature, even with Tate's jealousy, it would have still been a situation where... Zeke was still been around and Zeke was pretty much the person keeping Tariq in college because we all know Tariq was there mainly to tutor Zeke and now that Zeke is gone that's going to create some stuff but basically when it comes down to it Ghost on the other hand would have still been involved with that lifestyle even if he didn't want to be a part of it because of Tariq he still would have been involved um he would have still been involved with Monet he still would have have all this stuff going on and I think that um, Mecca eventually would still come after uh, Zeke wanting to be a part of his son's life. Now, with that being said, Ghost would have intervened knowing that Zeke is a good kid. You know, Ghost would jump in for a good person. Like, for example, Sean, he he was there for Sean. He was there for Dre when he thought Dre was good. He tried to save Tariq. Ghost was always trying to save youth because for some reason he saw himself in all of them when he was young because he didn't really want to be a part of the, the, the drug life, but it was no other choice. So he would have stopped Zeke from being involved with Mecca. He would admire the fact that Zeke was around a family of drug dealers, but did not want to be a drug dealer himself because he was a star basketball player, but because he was looking out for Tariq. What I mean by that is that Zeke would have been the reason why Tariq was still being stands for and Ghost would went out his way not to look out after Tariq only. He would be looking out for Tariq, but he would look out for Zeke because Zeke is the reason Tariq is there. So with that being said, if Mecca would have come after um, Zeke, I think Monet would have reached out to Ghost, who would have been the most powerful ally that they would have had. And Ghost would definitely have gone out his way to go head to head with Mecca. That's something I wish we would have saw. But with that being said, um, he would possibly have Mecca assassinated without... Um, you know uh zeke even knowing and even when zeke was on his way to the airport i think ghost would have intervened <clears throat> excuse me um because he possibly knew what was going on with the war that was taking place ghost would consistently try to save Tariq and book two ghosts if he was still around i think he would go out his way to continuously try to save his son try to keep him away from the tahadas try to keep him out of the life tell him you need to worry about your case and everything of that nature and get him out of the situation because he is lieutenant governor however zeke at the same time would still been involved with the tahadas and zeke would have still um been involved with mecca so i think that ghost would have went to save zeke in order to protect him, not only just to protect him, but to protect Tariq as well, because Zeke is the reason Tariq is in school. So basically, when it comes down to it, that's pretty much what I gotta say. I do think that Ghost would have saved Zeke if he was around in Power Book 2 Ghost. But that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. I just wanna say, it is your boy, Bobby Beats here. I just wanna say much love, much respect, hold it down, and whoa. Hey, it's your boy, Bobby Beats here. Hey, how are you doing? This is your boy, Bobby B's here. I'm gonna tell you something. When it comes down to it, you can be a good person and that's a good thing. You can be a person that's about peace and that is also a good thing. But there are times when you have to learn how to be a person who can't care about peace and being good. Well, you can still be good, but sometimes you have something inside of you where you have to fight. Sometimes you have to have something inside of you where you have to go to war. There's a part of you that has to fight for what you believe in. If you really love something, don't you fight for it. 
in this life there are people who will play um, the good in you against yourself and consistently try to go against you or make you go against yourself when it comes to dealing with people like that you have to be watchful observant cold calculating heartless and cold that's me just telling you what you have to do in regards to dealing with your enemies hey how 